What are we doing on night? Or not tonight, Friday night, Z. We're doing stuff, Z. We're the future, that's right. It's our reviews will kill you and you are seeing us on a Friday night party in life. But in reality, it's a Tuesday night because we can see into the future. We know what you're doing. You're sitting here, yes. checking us out, hanging out, having a nice one, cold drink. Our one fan. And just doing it. Waiting for our with Drop free it. PSN money. Yes. So they just won. Exactly. Uh, illegitimately like an illegitimate child meanwhile i am in atlantic city 12 hookers deep blasting through them cheeks slapping the salmons <laughs> doing the 12 days of stds gross is there even 12 stds i don't think so i would bet you there's more i would hope so because i need to get all of them <laughs> you need to get all of them yes that's right, we have a fantastic show for you tonight, and we're going to bring you all that news, reviews, clues, blues clues, all that good stuff and more. I'm the man you may know, Z, and I am joined by the cowboy loving, loves it rough, loves it rough and tumble, the noob noob. Holiday jingle balls! Absolutely jingle balls. We hope you have a fantastic holiday. Absolutely amazing Amazing holiday. We'll be there with you. What are we getting? We're probably going to even have to have a show on like New Year's Eve or something. Um, probably not. No, because New Year's Eve is a Saturday. Okay. So no. Okay. Well, then New Year's Eve Eve. Yes. The Eve of New Year's Eve. We're going to Eve Eve. That will be actually live probably. Oh, well, that's excellent. And I will make my balls drop. <laughs> drop your balls. Yeah. Well... Why don't you tell everybody what's on today's show? Well, there is stuff, but because it's not live and I don't have a list in front of me to read, like a teleprompter, I don't know. So why don't you tell us? Absolutely. God of War TV show on Amazon. Sounds exciting. Henry Cavill loses one job but gains another because he's going to get 40k on your ass. Also on Amazon with some Warhammers. Not 3k? No, Adam Sandler was the bear Jew all along. Didn't know if you knew that. Is he Jewish? Netflix cancels Blockbuster. Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot cut from the new Flash movie, which we haven't seen and probably never asked for. The boys put out an NFT to mock the God Emperor. There's a live action Peter Pan, which no one asked for. E.T. sells for a lot of money. No oh boy. What a sellout. In outrageous news, there's a 1 million liter aquarium bursting that you need to see and hear about. Oh, I heard about that. And then we get to meet Mr. Avatar himself. Mr. Avatar. Are you in or are you out on Barbie? I didn't see it. You didn't even watch the preview? No. What is wrong with you? Margot Robbie's hot, though. Yes. And then we get to some reviews on The Volcano. Cal Mimis Clio. And Murderville Christmas Special. What is any of this? Those are all fantastic things and more. But first, we're going to move on to... Housekeeping? The ha 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 All oh, the housekeeping. There may be more housekeeping because we don't know what we're going to do from now until Friday. There, there could be future things that you don't know about. World is our oyster. There could many, be news. Many breaking news stories. As of right now, we're not covering The Rock getting his... Rocks Black off. Adam, his Black Adam two canceled. Yeah, James Gunn is blasting his rocks off into Netherlands. Yes, he'll never work with James Gunn again. Even though they they posted a, like a bromance, I don't know, whatever. James Gunn's weird. Something He's, wrong with that boy. He gonna fuck it up. Maybe he won't. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give him. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. One movie he gets. And he gets one movie. If it's a gay Superman, I am out. <laughs> Don't be too surprised. So help me God, if the first time he's laser beaming is a dude's asshole, I'm not. I'm not into it. <laughs> I'm not. Don't want it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't need it. Watched enough of it already on you porn. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, if you didn't get a chance, you can catch our battle of the trees. That's right. We're smoking trees down one by one as we go through your Christmas trees. The great Christmas tree battle. Yes. Notice how I put a windmill in there. That thick wood. To see which wood wins. One tree leaves. I like the play on words. That's right. That's right. And then we also covered Wednesday. Wednesday was good. I enjoyed it. Let's dance. I still am very 
torn between whether Jenna Ortega is attractive or not. Very difficult. We'll have to wait and see how that works out for her. I'm sure she will make lots of money being who she is. Screaming Mm -hmm. and stabbing. That's right. And then I guess you have a giveaway that you're waiting for someone to collect. And if they collect it, then good on them. We have to buy it, though, first. No, I thought you were waiting for Jeremy. Oh, that one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got to open it on Christmas and then take a picture of it and then send it to Jeremy. But we're waiting on you, Jeremy. We are. I really enjoy I'm still, I want to talk to you about the movie and you haven't seen it. So I'm going to talk to you about it. Smile, dumbass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to see it so you can comment on it. We could talk about it. That's what we do here. We break movies down. A full breakdown of Smile? Yes. I think it's a worthy movie. It did very well on a very, very limited budget. So I'd be curious to see what you think. If you're like, Nad Dog, it's not for me. I think it's a little above your pay grade, but we'll see. Now, we can uh, can review it. I I think it's... Or do like a full review or whatever. I think it's above your pay grade, though. I think you're going to be like... "Eh." And I'm like, yeah, this is actually pretty good. I'm going to say it's probably dumb. And you're going to be like, this is smirt. This is smirt because you're net smirt. So anyway, I guess that means we get to move on. We get to get it on and move on. That's right. We have no chat here. <laughs> yeah. To no, this us. is going to be a, a lightning quick episode. Yeah. We're going to go right through. Nobody I'm going to pretend us. like people are saying things in the chat. They're going to make us go off on tangents. Doc but. is not here to be a complete disappointment. Of oh, my being. gosh. Um, people wanted him to win the tree battle and he wasn't even there. I know doc got like, they voluntarily picked doc to win the tree battle and he wasn't even there to collect. Cause they felt so bad for doc. They're like, wow, this man is such a bitch. <laughs> anyway, that his Christmas isn't complete unless he wins a free movie from Plus. two almost homeless podcasters. Yeah. One step up from homeless. Yeah. You see this background? We can't even afford a fucking neon sign. We can't afford a neon sign that says O-R-K-U. Underscore you. That would have to say underscore. I thought it was like uh, O-R-K-U. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's our Instagram, though. If I you mean, want to follow us. Yeah. But actually. Instagram's dead, so don't. I mean, I mean it's a good way do. to like... It's a good way to like... It doesn't talk hurt. Talk to us. It doesn't hurt. I honestly forget to just post shit there. And then I like post like four things in like 10 minutes. And I'm like, all right, I'm good for a couple days. Yeah. So. But that means we can move on to the news. news. But not the end. Oh, my gosh. You'll get there. Don't worry. God of War. First, we're going to talk about God of War live action TV. Thank you, Variety, for covering this. This is going to be bad. I really need to finish this game. There's no way that this is good. Did you did you even finish the first one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the first one we finished. Second one we did not. We. Yes. We I because watched it's God Mr. of Fatty. Woke. Mr. Fatty. So there's going to be a live adaptation of PlayStation's hit video game franchise God of War has been ordered to Amazon Prime Video with the Wheel of Time boss Rafi Judkins as showrunner. Why would you do that? Wheel of Time is not good. Not enough Minotaurs. We talked about this. You can check out said video above that I will not link. Based on the massively popular 2018 video game, the show follows Kratos, the god of war, after exiling himself from his blood-soaked past in ancient Greece. He hangs up his weapons forever and joins Midgard. But, uh, yeah, so they're not going to follow him in ancient Greece. That seems like a miss. Why wouldn't they go with him with the, like, the origin story and then, like, it doesn't make sense. You're picking up midway. Like, if you don't know who Kratos is and the god of war, why would it make sense for him to be in Norse mythology? Uh, I mean, I guess you could, if you wanted to ignore that and just be like, oh, okay, we're just doing... The Norse Kratos. Yeah, but he's literally the reason why he's there is what happened in Greece. Yeah, so but... So they're not going to talk about that. I, I agree. It's stupid, but I feel like you could get... You you can get away with it. You can... In a TV show for normies. Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> and is Corey Balrog associated with it? I don't think so. It's going to probably be better than Lord of the Rings, hopefully. Uh, it's, you know, what's not better than Lord of the Rings. 
the Wheel of Time series. Oh, fuck. That's a thing. Yeah, remember? Did that's who the show run. No, because they've spent too much money. Carnal Row, though, with Cara Delevingne. It did get canceled. Much more nudity. No, no, that. no. There's another season coming out. And then it it's already been canceled. Has it really? Yeah. Why? No one's going to watch that. There's another season, but it's been canceled? Yes. Actually, I think it's just been canceled. We covered this in the story. It's there already, is another season though. Yeah, but and but it's canceled. So like you're gonna watch it. For I just no reason. need some more Cara Delevingne. It's tits, like though. watching the Flash. Like, what's the reason for watching the Flash if if Henry Cavill doesn't show up in a cameo? I I there better be a fucking deleted scene on that Blu-ray or 4K that has him him in it. I should I just cut to that story. I'll, I'll just be cut pissed. To that story. That story of Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot cameos have been cut from the Flash. It has been confirmed. They are fucking everything up. Look at the, look at how like how could you cut Gal Gadot from yep. anything? Look at that. She's yep. like the Amazon. And Henry Cavill, my word. He's he's the Superman we all wanted. Yeah, he can call me daddy. Or I call him daddy. Though they had already filmed the cameos, had been cut from the Ezra Miller led superhero movie. They kept Ezra Miller. But cut Henry Cavill. I don't know that they didn't keep Ezra Miller, but they just didn't release his movie. Yeah. So like as soon as that gets released, it's going to be like Ezra Miller no longer returning as the Flash. <laughs> you know how like at the end of the Marvel movies is like uh, will return. the Flash will be returning. Ezra Miller will not be returning. There's zero. No, I if James Gunn brings back Ezra Miller. Oh, we know that he's a uh, that um, dude just wants to get dick. He likes to shroom people. There's, I, I, I will, I'm not You'll sure. You'll go to Hollywood and protest? Uh, I think at that, at that point, Harvey Weinstein might be a better person than James To Gunn. run, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to me. In other Henry Cavill news, which I actually think is really, really good news, and I'm kind of excited about this, because he's been given the ability to produce this, thanks to Deadline, they're already breaking that everyone's breaking the Black Adam news, and we're just not going to talk about it. Nope. Even though we should. It's too black for us. Oh, my God. It's too Adam. Henry Cavill to star in Warhammer 40K. He's got the film and TV franchise as Amazon Studios acquires the rights to the Games Workshop brand. It seems like that he had this in the, his back pocket because there's an interview of him. He actually plays the game and collects the pieces and paints them himself. And he's posted them on Instagram. Yeah. Like he's a big fan of 40K. That's what everybody loves about Henry Cavill. That he is a man who is, uh, he's he's real close to the sources of what he likes to play. He's passionate about them. Warhammer launched apparently 40 years ago, but it's miniatures, source books, tabletop games, animations, novels, and a wealth of licensed material that you've never, ever seen. If you're a normie, you've never even heard of this. But it's pretty interesting um, I just want to read his comment. Henry Cavill posted, For 30 years, I have dreamt of seeing a Warhammer universe in live action. Now, after 22 years of experience in the industry, I finally feel that I have the skill set and the experience to guide a Warhammer cinematic universe into life. Partnering with Natalia, Natalie Visco and v at Vertigo has been a blessing beyond words. Without her, blah, 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 blah. And having a home like Amazon, shocking, will give us the freedom, shocking, to be true to the massive scope of Warhammer. He just shit on Netflix to right there. all of you Warhammer fans out there, I promise to respect this IP that we love. I promise to you to bring something familiar, and I endeavor to bring you something fantastic that is, as of yet, unseen. I think it's awesome that he is a producer on this and i just want to show you i went to the warhammer website so we could buy some warhammer pieces i just wanted to show people like what are we getting into warhammer is known for its extraordinarily highly detailed miniatures that you can you have to paint on your own which is extraordinarily tedious you can get all these like armies and stuff let's just look at this corn lord of skulls thing oh my here. god the amount of detail on this is absolutely bizonkers, right? That's crazy. That's too much. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It looks like a tank with a thing coming out of its chest. There's a giant penis in the middle. It's got an axe and like a machine guns and like some tanks. 
Why is it 40K? Like Warhammer 40K, what's I the 40? I think it's the year 40,000 or something. Mm. I don't know, actually, but Seems that looks pretty badass, does it not? Suspicious. And somebody no, had does. to paint that. It does. But imagine the detail to the costumes that they could bring, right? By the way, that thing costs $170. It's like a miniature. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't, this is a game for rich people. Um, but they have like all these like different um, like factions and stuff. Like the lore is kind of unlimited. There's all these different people, Starblood Killers, Vanguard. Let's look up one thing though that was extremely important. Oh my god! God, hold on, God Emperor, the one we all need. How do you spell Emperor? M E M P O R E R. Yep, that is not right. Emperor. 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 Or? Yeah. I was pretty sure that's where the God Emperor comes from, is Warhammer 40K. Is it really? Yeah. The worm? How about God? Google it, man. I am Googling it. You're Warhammering it. I am Warhammering it. False gods. I swear that the Space Marines have some sort of connection to the God Emperor. And that's like a thing that you can buy. You done fucked up. Races. I don't know. Seraphan. This is so complicated. I don't even understand what I'm looking at. (laughs) All right, then. But if if that's the amount of... Like, look at this. It's like some blue dudes. Like some freaky blue dudes on a Triceratops thing. It's crazy. Sure. Who could even paint that? You couldn't. Uh, Yep. You could. I Yeah, I could paint it with an airbrush. Right. I could pay someone to paint it. <laughs> I was going to say, you have absolutely no skill. I skills. could pay someone to paint it. Uh huh. Who? You can't even get us a, a backdrop. Henry Cavill. You could paint, you, you could have Henry Cavill do it. I would, I would pay him to do it. And he'd be like, yes, sir. Noob, noob. Please. We, yes, sir. And then I will actually co host your show and replace the inferior Z because I am Superman for now and always. God Emperor Warhammer. There we go. Let's bring Emperor. Him up. Yeah, see, it is Emperor. Emperor. Is uh, anybody have like a miniature of this guy? I oh, that's know. YouTube. Nope, don't want I that. Don't know. Basically, he looks like uh, what you'd expect him to look like. He looks like a version of uh, see God Emperor. I don't know. He like drinks the blood of mankind or something. I don't know. It's very complicated, very cool, very sci-fi. You'll all be very excited by it. You know what you you might be excited by? I mean, if you had watched Inglorious Bastards. Bear Jews. That's right. You're I love them. You love them. The regular bears are just not great. The Jewish bears. They're the best bears. That's where I'm where that's where I'm looking for my pastrami. Pastrami is the Jewish meat, right? Sure. Do the Jews like pastrami? I don't know. What? But what do is you it? like Adam Sandler? Because Adam Sandler was supposed to play the bear Jew in Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. That I I kind of want I want to see it, but I don't know if it would work. I definitely don't know that Eli Roth pulls it off because he's kind of it's Eli Roth he's kind of like he's tainted by his terrible movies yeah but Adam Sandler beating a Nazi officer to death with a baseball bat I I feel like he could be like a disheveled wild bear Jew yeah like I I, like Eli Roth is in better shape and a better physical specimen but ah it might have been more natural if Adam Sandler it's kind of funny, too, because Sandler was apparently on board with the pitch in the 2000s since Little Nicky and Tarantino played a blind priest in, in Little Nicky. It's me, Little Nicky. Say, this is totally awesome. Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. Popeye's chicken is awesome. But it's fucking awesome. It's awesome. It's, it's I love beating up Nazis with it, baseball bats. And it's pineapples awesome. in Hitler's ass. I love putting pineapples right up Hitler's ass. You're doing ass. a terrible impression. Let's what do you mind. mean mine is better than yours? Uh, I wasn't trying. Say, that's awesome. Nope. nope. What do you mean? Let's, better than yours? Uh, uh, 
He should have done it. It would have been pretty. I think it might have pulled does, you out of the movie, does it though. Does say it? why he didn't do it? Uh, I don't know. I didn't read the article. Wow. He, apparently, he was supposed to have a much larger role in the original screenplay. But then they, I guess when they didn't get him, they kind of scaled it back. And it's a pretty good movie. It's not a great movie. And it's long as fuck. Yeah, Christopher Waltz. Like, basically, all you need to do is watch the Christopher Waltz scene where he drinks the milk and finds the uh, hated Jews under the... Is that where they're running and he shoots them? He shoots Shoshana. Shoshana, sure. I'm looking for you. Yeah, he shoot. They they walk into the French guy. He he has a milk farm. Yep. And then they shoot the board. He's got people hiding under the board. Yeah, but one runs away. That's Shoshana. And she gets shot. Yeah, but she lives. And then she gets her revenge. That's like the plot. Does Crystal Walsh die? He gets scalped. Does he? Yeah. Uh huh. Brad Pitt scalps him. I remember watching that movie and it was done. It was all right. But uh, Christopher Waltz won a uh, Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Of course. He's pretty good. Of course he did. Of course. The Bear Jew should have won. Eli Roth? No, I don't think so. Yeah. What about Blockbuster? I have yet to see this, but now... It's too late now. It's already been canceled. I'm kind of sad that it's canceled. I like that main Asian dude, though. He's cool. Who is he? Oh, is he the guy who... uh, he does the magic trick in... Uh, he's in the MCU, isn't he? Yes. Wong? Nope. Nope. It's not Wong. He's the FBI guy in Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's in there. He's awesome. I, I think he's a, good, he's a good actor. I think he's funny. Yeah, I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. But I never watched... Randall Park. That's who it is. Nobody ever watched this. Ten episode series. That's the problem with Netflix. Too many episodes. Nobody needs 10 episodes of these shows. Like, they're just not written for that. It, but it got canceled. I mean, Blockbuster seems like it would be a good... That's, that's nostalgia. Like, it's it's got a good actor. It didn't even break into the top 10 in the Netflix ratings. That's kind of fucked up. That is bad. Yeah. I'll yeah. have to... Maybe maybe I'll watch it. It got it. 23% critical approving in Ron Tomatoes. They probably should have just filmed a real blockbuster and they would have done better. One with no people in it. Yeah. And it would have gotten better ratings. Like an empty blockbuster with like tumbleweeds drifting Dude, through blockbuster it. Blockbuster was awesome. Back in the day. You were you're you're too old for Blockbuster. No, I'm not. You weren't a you kid. You know though. somebody who who used to be a manager of Blockbuster. Scott? No. Somebody that you know fairly well. Not like super well, but fairly well. Who used to be the manager of a blockbuster? Ah, uh, maybe he also dealt drugs out of a blockbuster, but that's a different story. Oh, uh, wait, you don't know what it is. No, I have a guess. Is it diddling time? Diddling t- is it time to diddle. Is it time to diddle? No, diddling time. Was He's not diddling old. time? Okay, then I have no idea. Or no, diddling time's too young. I'm not sure. Either way, I bet you didn't see this coming. Oh, God. That you could buy a boy's NFT Homelander trading cards to spoof Donald Trump. Man, what is this girl wearing? That is, that is Dude, she, she is this, poured the plastic that surgery that she got done is a little was, much. Little much. Who's yeah. this? What is that girl's name? Also, uh, not that she's famous, but Leah Michelle from yes. Glee. Uh huh. If you look up before and after pictures, woof. I thought uh, this bitch was bad. With well, you mean plastic surgery? Mm-hmm. She got a lot. If you look, if you look up Leah Michelle before and after, I, like I don't know what she did, but she implanted a square in her face. Okay. <laughs> like if we have time, you can just Google it, and it's it's horrifying. It's literally a square. I I I don't like. She was mildly cute before. And then it's like if you got a giant square block and just inserted it in her jaw. Is that Erin Moriarty, who's the star of... Erin Moriarty, yeah. It's, she's it's, the star There's no of, H. There's no H. And Leah Michelle. But... Face surgery. <laughs> see, it's the first thing that comes up. Oh, my God. Like... Oh, wait, hold on. Which one are you talking uh, about? No, there, there's some pictures where you see... Hold on. She got a square embedded in her face? Yeah. I don't know. You have to tell me which one. Uh, it's hard to tell. 
Type How in Lea Michelle before? before and after. Okay, but Aaron Moriarty definitely got some done too. Yeah, or I, I don't know. It's like she just lost a bunch of weight. I mean that th- these are pretty like intense. Like you don't think that's like a pretty th- that's not as square. There were there's like a picture where it's like woof. What's go where then is, now? Yeah, like what? Oh, what is going yeah, on yeah, in the yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Like there's what like, happened? There's some, there's something going on with the that's face. a now or a then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, I gotta find uh, it. Is this good? No. It's just like she looks fake. She looks like a fake human being. I mean, she kind of always looked like a fake human being. Like she was kind of like a mildly cute Jew. And oh not, my and god, what is wrong with you? I didn't say the. Uh huh. Just uh. Uh huh. Yeah. What does that have to do with the NFTs? No. I don't know. I I let's, don't. Let's go back. I it looks like she got lip injections too. She got a lot done. Okay. Well, you know. She used to be... She, now she looks like... Uh, uh, who's that girl that's kind of annoying? There's a lot. Uh, with the big ass. You Kim Kardashian? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know. You're not doing a good job of selling this. Uh, there, there, I haven't seen the picture that I saw that I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I mean, sh- let's just go with... She looks like two different human beings. She does look like another human being. Fair enough. That needs a dick. Because <laughs> what woman doesn't? It's the only way to cure cancer. And lesbianism. <laughs> uh-huh. But, well, anyway, the boys did some NFTs, and Aaron Moriarty didn't have any work done. <laughs> Huge announcement. Official Homelander digital collectible cards <laughs> have arrived. Celebrate our greatest hero's life and crime fighting career by... Owning authentic and non fungible JPEG of him, buy now for 777 VOT coins while you still can. So they're just like spoofing <clears throat> it. I thought that was kind of funny, but I don't really know who the joke, like, yeah, I don't know. All of it's crazy. We've lost the, we've lost <laughs> the plot now. Yeah. But you know who hasn't lost the plot? What's that? Peter Pan. Oh, no. Oh, God. Peter and Wendy. P- it's called Peter and Wendy. I'm going to pull out my Peter and touch you with my Wendy. I had a Wendy's peppermint frosty today. It was pretty good. Did it touch you in your Peter? It did. <laughs> Hon- honestly, like frosties are weird. I, they're not ice cream. They're like a little. They different. are not ice cream. They're a little different. They're a little different, but it's good. And peppermint just hits right in the holiday it does season. Not. It, 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 it fucking touches the tongue and. And hits right in the testes. But apparently Disney Plus is going to have a Peter and Wendy on its 2023 trailer slate. I did not watch the trailer, but uh, Ever Anderson is Wendy. And she's taking her first flight with Alexander Bellani. You know, a girl has played Peter Pan in the past. Oh, yeah. 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 Cause you know, trans Jenga's and such. <laughs> trans Jenga's. I don't even know what I, I don't know what's going on here. I think this is a real bad idea. Apparently, that people are mad because there's probably you know American Indians in it. And oh no, they don't like the depiction of the Indians in it. Dude, I don't know the old movie. I never really liked Peter Pan. I still kind of don't like Peter Pan in general, and I don't know that. I'm, I guess we have to watch it because we're required to by law. You might. You're like, I'm just going to skip it because I don't have to review anything. I might watch an episode. It's not It's not a show. It's a movie. Oh. It's one of those terrible like live action reboots like oh. Lion King. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like Pinocchio that I reviewed that was terrible. Not Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, oh. which was actually pretty good. Yeah, you, you missed it on our title card. You could have been like del Toro Loco. I didn't put... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have done like, you know... I don't know. Whatever. Let's move on. Uh, what? Del Toro. I'm not going to watch. You want to drink some Del Toro Locos? Yeah. What about E.T.? CNN. Thank you, CNN. Apparently, the original animatronic E.T. used in Spielberg Classic sells for $2.56 million. Jesus. I thought it was actually the E.T. thing, but it's just like the robot part. It's not That's even dumb. the skin. Immediately dumb. Yes. 
the animatronics, the filming model created by Oscar winner, special effects master Carlo Rimbaldi in 1981 went under the hammer as part of Icons and Idols Hollywood. Somebody paid $2.56 million for this creepy... It's like a skeleton. It's oh not even... It's like the animatronic part without the skin. It's kind of oh gross. Do you want this? Uh, not for $2.5 million. They said a maquette of E.T. made for Spielberg to approve the character's design also sold for $125,000, but this was the, the bomb. This was the one that was actually filmed. This is all for money laundering, is it not? I I would imagine so. There's no way. That would be my guess. Although apparently they also sold uh, Charlton Heston's, uh, the staff that was used to part the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments sold for $448,000. What the fuck? A black wool dress owned by Marilyn Monroe went for $256,000. Not worn by Aaron to Weed Christmas. A- Anna de Armas, so I don't know why it went for whoa, so much whoa, money. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about Anna Thomas? It was a Marilyn Mo- Monroe black wool dress. But not... Do you remember Anna when Darmus? Kim Kardashian wore a Marilyn Monroe dress and oh, people got super yeah. mad because uh-huh. she like bust out of it because she's fat? And she's not attractive. And she doesn't look anything. Yep. Mm-hmm. And who's more attractive, Marilyn Monroe or... Kim Kardashian? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Pony up. Pony up. That... Come on, that's not even Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn exactly. Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. What an outrage. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe. It's an outrage. It's outrageous. But Anna de Armas is like on another level to both of them. When why isn't Ballerina out already? Like I know. Oh, I read the guy, uh the guy who did Norm Reedus? N- the guy who did Marilyn Monroe. No, the guy who did uh Blonde is still mad that people are mad about it. He's like, what did you want an empowered Marilyn Monroe? We just didn't want her crying in every scene. Yes. We wanted her naked, but not crying. Feet porn and crying is basically what you gave us. Pretty much. And all... Not in that order. All fake things. Like, literally everything in that is bullshit. You don't think she was kidnapped by... The FBI GFK. or fucked and as like forced a pe- to be given an abortion? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Dude, if from, from the baby's perspective... <laughs> An oh, I forgot the about the goddamn babies. Let's nope. We need nope. to move on. We need to. It's, it's an outrage. Whatever it is. Oh, are we going outrageous? We're getting outrageous. Oh my god! Huge, a huge Berlin oh, Aquarium. This, I heard burst. about this. This this is fucked up. Is it though? Are you sure that someone didn't lose the knock list? What? You know the knock list. The fuck is that? They didn't get. They didn't have an impossible mission. They had to take on. <laughs> Have you never seen Mission Impossible where he blows up a giant aquarium? I maybe in Berlin. Where? What movie? A Mission Impossible. Which one? The first one. I don't remember. The one, the only good one. That's an actual espionage first movie. Off, the only uh, that that is true. It's the only espionage movie, and it's the only good one. It's not the only good one. What? Oh, I still never seen the one with Henry Cavill where he reloads his guns. Rogue Nation. Arm guns. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah, I never saw that. Getting one. fucking hard thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, in Berlin on December 16th, a huge aquarium in Berlin burst early on Friday, spilling one million liters of water around 15,000 exotic fish and debris onto a major road in the busy Mitte district, emergency services said. I think it's funny because it literally it must have been that they were trying to retrieve the knock list. Must I don't be. know what does knock stands for. If I remember Mission Impossible correctly... There was like a list of spies and their true identities, and it, they had to recover. That was in one of them. That's the first one. That they was had in to recover one of them. the list of true identities. I can commit and at to some that. point, he meets his like handler at lunch, and he's like, I need to take you in, Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise is like, You can't catch me if I run for my gay thoughts. And then he blew up an aquarium so he could escape. He threw his bubble gum on it. And it blew up. Oh, That's what happened here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was Aquadam a great movie. Aquarium. Look at this. It just like blew out the whole restaurant. It's movie. literally what happened. In, you don't think this is weird that it's literally what happened in... in uh, it's a little weird. Mission Impossible. It's a little weird. Apparently, they're saying like, oh, there was too much stress on the thing. 
There was no human losses. Fish losses, though. There were 1,500 fish losses. Two people were injured by splinters of glass. It's very sad. I thought it was going to be like the fish biting their penis. They didn't. They escaped penis intact. Like piranhas just eating the booty. Or Paku. Whatever that is. A lot of sushi, though. They better they better have used those fish. They did not. They just let them die right on them. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. What's next? You know what else is outrageous? Your friend and mine, Mr. Avatar. Oh, Jesus Christ. The way of water is here, and tattooed Avatar man is over the moon. He's an Avatar car. His truck, he is like a F-150 with like... It is not that good of a movie, bro. It is... Re- <laughs> Avatar is not that good of a movie. Apparently, you know how they talk about Avatar not having cultural impact? Apparently on this man, it did. <laughs> the 2009 sci-fi epic, which was supposed to debut in 2014, got pushed back to now, 2021. It is- he said, yes, waiting for a second was way overdue. Many times over the years, I was thinking it will never get finished and out, but he must be like absolutely over the moon. He's a 54 oh, year old God. carpenter from Edmonton, Alberta. Are Those his, Canadians have lost are their his minds. His tits blue? His nipples are pink. Why though. are the nipples just like left untouched? He's 95% inked at this point. He says last fall he had his sleeves completed. He's got a bald head, but his entire body is tattooed in avatar scenes. Except for his pink nipples. Jesus Christ. The man's in shape for 50-something, though. He looks like a beast. But he's got... I don't even understand. He's got Avatar He's like the Avatar stuff. Liver King. But more Avatar and but less definitely liver. definitely on steroids, though. People think I'm obsessed, Noel said. So I have the odd decal on my truck and one tattoo. That's the joke I use. I t- it's fully wrapped in lush blues and purples with Natiri vanity plates. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nope. Mr. Avatar. That's pretty outrageous. I am going to see Avatar at some are point. Are you going to get Avatar tattoos? Only on my testicles. They are the way of water. <laughs> Your tattoos are the way of water? Yeah. <laughs> They're just floating in the water. My, my balls are the motion in the ocean. <laughs> uh-huh. So they need to be blue like the sea. Uh, I'd like to get out of your balls and out of Please don't. Mr. Avatar. <laughs> Please, I don't Stay want that in. anymore. Nope. Stay in. I'm out. I'm moving out, but I might be in. My Barbie on girl. Barbie. I'm a Barbie no, girl. No, because she's going to look like Margot Robbie's hot, but she's going to look weird in this. She's not going to look hot. No, she's going to look hot because I saw the trailer, which you did not watch. Mm. Just okay. Did you see Babylon trailer? Like she looks hot in Babylon. She looks like a crack whore in Babylon. Yeah, but and a hot she crack whore. Secretly kissed Brad Pitt, like without permission. That, so she's in trouble. That makes it. Wait, what? Yeah, she's in trouble for non consensual kiss. You don't think she looks hot in this classic Barbie one piece? No. There, where's the stomach? You need to show the stomach. No. One first pieces of all, are super unattractive. First of all. I don't even want to get into your sense of fashion with dresses and like re- ridiculous dresses that show like the midsection, like a freaking high schooler. Yeah. That's the dumbest thing show, I've ever seen. Show it. Show the stomach. No. First of all, if you're not showing belly button, you're just wasting your time. Exactly. Show it all. You, you didn't show it all. You just showed off just not enough. What do you mean? No, no, no. If you're no. showing the stomach, the stomach has the belly button. You're not button. showing. No, no, there was no belly button. Where, what are we? Are we talking about a specific instance? Oh, maybe. I'm really. So anyway, Barbie's going to hit theaters in 2020, uh, J- July 21st, 2023. And the uh, the trailer is a spoof of, uh, uh, what the heck, that, that movie. Oh my gosh. I'm spacing on it. It's a space movie. Stanley Kubrick. Spaceball. Space Odyssey 2020 or something. 2000. Oh, Space yeah, Odyssey yeah. 2000. Yep. Yeah. It looks pretty funny. Samu Lu, who's just annoying at this point, was like, it was so much fun doing this. Oh, the dancing and all this. Spo- yes. Is he is. Asian Barbie? Very much annoying. Yes. Is he, he Asian must Barbie? Be Asian Barbie. He's. Did Asian. you just go for a drink and realize it was empty? Yes, I did. Oh. It's very sad. It was. Uh, but I guess that I, I'm in. I know. I, uh, 
it? I don't know if I'm going to watch You're it. You're going to watch it. I'm going to have to. How can you not watch I'm gonna it? I'm going to need to know that she shows some belly. <sighs> what about some gams? She shows off the gams. She does. She looks great. No, Margot Robbie is delicious. And then Ryan Gosling is Ken. How could That's you not That's true. Know? I'm going to need to know how much he is shirtless. All of it. That's going to be a big selling point for me. Either way, it's time to Also, get... what the fuck is the story? I know she's in Barbie world. Like, what is it? What? Greta Gerwig. Uh, nope. Dir- directed. No. Nope. She directed it? She did. Fuck. It, yeah, I don't know. Will Ferrell's in it? This Katie is- McKinnon? Oh boy, America Ferrera. I mean, she's okay. I'll, she's the only one that I'm not nervous about. Uh, I mean, Katie McKinnon, Samu yeah. Lu. Are you serious? Are you serious? It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it could be great. I'm hoping it's great. It's, I, I don't mind if it's be, great. It's gonna be a thing. Yes. What if we get into the review? Oh my God! Do it! Do, Do it! Reviews, you dirty slut! First, we're going to review. We're going to go from most depressing to least depressing. Okay. How does that sound? I saw no of them. The so. volcano. None. Rescue from... I'm going to pronounce I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Do I it. think it's Fakari. I'm pretty sure it's Fakari. Okay. This is bonkers. I don't even understand what I watched with this. This is a Netflix documentary. Uh, it is... 91% on the critic side, 80% on the critic or on the audience side. This is a New Zealand uh, volcano. It's called, uh, they say it's a close examination of the Fakari White Island volcanic eruption of 2019 in which 22 lives were lost. The film viscerally recounts a day when ordinary people were called upon to do extraordinary things, placing this tragic event within the larger context of Nature, resilience, and the power of our shared humanity. Yes. It's super intense, and yet you got to have like a real intense like attitude to watch this thing. Um, basically, this was a live volcano that you could go and check out. Um, it's south of the Aucklands in New Zealand. And you can see it from the shore. There's a town that you can watch it from, and they can you can see this this volcanic island, and it's always emitting steam and everything like that. And apparently, like for like three years, it 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 erupted in 2013, 2016, and 2019. So like every three years, it erupted, and you would take live live trips there, where you could see like the acid lake that the crater was like, it was filled with like an acid lake and you'd go to visit this volcano. It was a live active volcano. Well, unfortunately, uh, two groups of 40 something odd people went onto the Island at the same time that it erupted. Oh my God. And it gets, it's Teddy bonkers. Wait, is this the one where you see the video of it? Like of it erupting. coming towards them in yeah. the, in the ocean? Uh huh. Did they die? Uh, the people in the ocean? Yeah. No. But it's still very harrowing. It's it's a crazy, crazy story. And those Kiwis are just bonkers, man. There's some Kiwis who are, who are like, oh, I'm going to go get in my helicopter and I'm going to go rescue some people. They're landing on an active volcano while it's erupting trying to, to rescue people. Oh, my God. It's bonkers. And it's pretty sad because they start talking to the survivors and they're like, yeah, I went on this vacation with like, my 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 dad and my mom and my sister and they're like just talking to the person and you're like, oh my god, did the rest of them not make it oh, out of this? Oh fuck! Yeah, and then they show you their scars, which is intense. The only thing I will oh, say, wait, they get hit with lava. They get caught in a uh, pyroclastic flow. Oof! Yeah, it's not good, and st- mostly hot steam, which just like. Dude, the stories that they... It's crazy because they have, like, video and, and f- footage and, like, pictures of when it happened. Like, it's crazy. It's bonkers. My tip to you, this is the Z Pro tip for the night. Do not go on an active volcano. Yeah, no. Bad idea. Do not do it. Not great. Promise you, you will not... It's not as exciting as it should be. Oh, jeez. Do not go there. You will not enjoy it. So uh, I do recommend this. It's not for the faint of heart, but it, it was good. It's a little long, but it was good. I enjoyed it. An hour and 38 probably be, could have been cut down to like an hour. 
It says not for everybody. What's next? What is next? Oh, yeah, that's right. Call me Miss Cleo. Call me. Whatever that is. Call me right now. You get to tarot card readings. You're going to call in me. I'm going to give you your future. Is she a Jamaican or crazy? She is she Jamaican. She's from Nolans? She's not from Jamaica. She was she actually... She's from Nolans getting that jumbo? No. She jumbo. was actually from none of those things. That they, jumbo she chicken? just made up a character. Did you, you know, know in the South there's a chicken place called Bojangles? Bojangles? Bojangles. Yeah, so what? It's fucking awesome. Okay. Did you enjoy it? I didn't go, but like oh, the name cool. itself is just cool. Okay, well. Bojangles! Yeah, so uh, Miss Cleo, for those of you who are uninitiated to Miss Cleo, she was a psychic hotline person that you could call back when 1-800 numbers existed or 1-900 numbers existed. Sure. Call me Miss Cleo. Weird thing about this, though, it's it's here's the description. Known for her larger-than-life personality and memorable accent, Miss Cleo, born Yuri Del Harris, garnered a nationwide cult following the the On Psychic Readers Network, a popular telephone hotline that later came under fire for its deceptive practices. Features interviews with celebrities and those closest to her, to the self-proclaimed voodoo priestess. The film explores the many layers of a compli- complicated and charismatic, charismatic character. They basically don't ever discover who Miss Cleo is and don't ever actually define who she is. What but is, I know Raven Simone's in it, and she's like, I liked Miss Cleo. Nobody gives a shit about Raven Simone anymore. It was real weird. Basically, it's like a half a documentary where they tell you about what happened, and then you're like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. She like used to scam people, and she's like a con artist. And they're just like, eh, she's part of the like uh, you know alphabet people. Illuminati. And then, Yes, and then like we can't ask any more questions once you find out that she's from the alphabet community. No, because she's gay. She was. She's gay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't baby. question the gays. Yeah. So basically, you no longer find anything out. So as soon all. as you like the the documentary stops as soon as you find out they're gay. Yeah, and then she's like, "Yeah, she's all good now. It's all good. That's nothing retar- to see here. That is dumb as shit." And they don't even necessarily. They just explain like she died. What? Yeah, it was bad. It's not good. The first part of it was kind of interesting, and then it got bad. What is this on? HBO Max. Oof. Probably James Gunn did it. Probably. There's no Rotten Tomato scores yet, so there's one review, professional review, not ours, which would have been rotten if yep. we actually did it. Very and then uh, audience score is uh, fewer than 50. No one cared about this. No one watched it. I, I watched it, though. I didn't even know it was a thing. I love Miss Cleo because she... You know, she she culturally appropriated my culture. Was she Egyptian? No, but she was using tarot cards. Do Jamaicans use tarot cards? Yes. No, they don't. They what use a, voodoo. What a, uh, and Santeria. That's the same thing. It is not. Very much similar. Nope, they don't read cards. Jambalaya. No. So uh, they uh, she crawfish. Got, uh-huh. Appropriated my What name a gypsy food? Galumkies. That's Polish. What where do you think we came from? Not Poland. Really? Are you serious? The North Pole. No. <laughs> you came from the North Pole. Uh-huh. You made snowflake cookies. Uh-huh. Speaking of snowflakes, you who were the killed original Santa? Snowflakes. Uh-huh. Who killed Santa? Uh Nazis. A Murderville murder mystery starring Jason Bateman. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Maya Rudolph. I don't care about her. With a surprise Where, guest star by Pete Davidson, who saves the day. Tell me, more about, tell me more about where this is and why Jason Bateman's in it. So there's this show on Netflix, which I highly enjoy. It's called Murderville. And um, you, who uh, Will Arnett, star, everybody is scripted in it, right? They basically have a murder mystery that's been scripted, and then they bring in celebrities to to be become like the they quit being celebrities so that they can be uh, homicide investigators, and they have to solve the crime. And one of the best parts of it is uh, Marshawn Lynch. Oh, I was remember one of the, that. Yeah, remember yeah, yeah. Marshawn Lynch was mm-hmm. one of the best detectives they ever had, yep. so they brought him back on as a as a guest detective. But this one in particular brings on Jason Bateman and Maya Rudolph. They're hilarious. 
And then Pete Davidson just also shows up, which is also awesome. I mean, it's it's Jason Bateman, so I'm, I'm in. It was it is pretty it is pretty funny because Will Arnett. There's parts where Will Arnett they basically do a uh, weekend of Bernies for Santa at one point, and Jason Arnett cannot or Will Arnett cannot keep it together. Oh my god! There's parts where he's just like covering his mouth like this, where he's like, I can't talk, I can't look at you because I'm just gonna keep laughing. But it's pretty funny because everybody else is like in all, like they're all scripted actors. But the the people playing, they have no idea. Like, they dress up Jason Bateman in an elf outfit so he can go undercover. He was scripted. No, he's not. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't know anything. Jason Bateman doesn't. Correct. They go in blind. And he's like, who are you? And he's like, I'm Jason Bateman. And he's like, you're the guy from Ozark, right? (laughs) Like, he's really Jason Bateman as a homicide detective now. Oh, my God. He's changed careers. And Will Arnett's like a hard-boiled detective who's like, let's get down and dirty. The with the, we have to figure out who How killed Santa. Uh, 52 minutes. It's awesome. I you need should to, absolutely I watch it. I need to it. watch it. Maya Rudolph is pretty funny. I need to watch it. It's good. It's real good. Uh, I, so it's 100% on the critic score. That's amazing. 84% on the audience score. What's such a blast is watching people who are so good at what they do bounce off of each other. Uh, Will uh, Will Arnett manages to play it straight most of the time, while Bateman, in particular, Rudolph, frequently break up the absurdity of it all. Oh, Will Arnett fully commits. He ne- he like tries to never break character. No, oh, jeez. It's pr- it's pretty funny. I highly I would recommend it. I highly enjoyed I, it. It's got Jason Bateman, so I got to watch it. You should. It's it's funny. It's really funny. <laughs> Cause like it's it's cool because it's a who done it, and you're you can see the the they give you clues while they're going through the the whole episode, so you're supposed to pick up on the clues too, and like you're supposed to solve the murder. I mean that makes sense. And I think it, it's really funny. The results of this one is really funny. They're just they're like they go for it. They they're just like yeah, this is. T- and Jason Bateman's in, in most of it. All of it. The whole the whole part. I need it. It's. I need it. You're gonna like it because he he plays a little furry play. All right. There's a little furry I'm play. Into in it. It. You're gonna like it. You're gonna be so into it. I highly recommend this. I highly recommend. Well, Merver Merville's really good with the really good people who are in it, and then the people who are not good in it. Yeah, there's like a couple actors you're like, yeah. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch is hilarious though. He's that dude should be an actor. He's great. Oh, He's geez. hilarious. <laughs> the Marshawn Lynch part is so yeah. ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, I think that wraps it up. I think we did it. We accomplished it. We brought it all home to you. Are we gonna review Avatar? You gonna bend some water? Uh, you gonna bend some air? Yep. You gonna bend? Bend it all. Bend it like Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. Yes, bend it like the Beckhams. Well. Well, anyway, I guess check us out on ORK underscore you at Instagram. Come chat with us live anytime you want. You're obviously here on this episode. Catch all of our shorts. Do all those things and more. Like, subscribe. It's the only way to grow this channel as it gets huge and huge until it's so huge we can't huge anything anymore. Absolutely. All that and more in the next episode. But as for us now, here at Our Views Will Kill You, we are on to the next one.